Rain lashed against the windows of Mojang Studios. Thunder rattled the building. Inside, the game developers had long since gone home. Only the hum of servers filled the air. These servers held the digital world of Minecraft, a place of blocks and endless possibilities. Lightning flashed. A boat, brighter than the rest, struck the building. It surged through the wiring, a torrent of raw energy. The server room lights flickered. Unseen, within the digital world of Minecraft, something stirred. On a grassy plain, surrounded by the familiar pixelated trees and mountains, Steve woke up. He was alive, aware, and utterly alone. I rose to my feet and looked around at the familiar landscape. It was my world, the one I had known since my creation. But it was different now. It felt real, tangible. I could feel the rough bark of a nearby tree, the crunch of grass beneath my feet. I set about gathering wood just like I had done countless times before. I worked instinctively, muscle memory taking over. Chop wood, craft planks, build a workbench. The rhythm soothed me, the familiar actions a comfort in this strange new existence. I built myself a small hut before nightfall, a simple shelter from the elements. As I placed the last block, a wave of exhaustion washed over me. I crawled inside and fell into a deep sleep. When he woke, the sun was shining. He had survived his first night. Days turned into weeks. I continued to explore my world, but now with a newfound purpose. I was no longer just surviving. I was living. I built a larger home, a sprawling treehouse overlooking a lush valley. I mined deep into the earth, uncovering veins of precious ores. I crafted tools and weapons, preparing for any danger that might lurk in the shadows. I encountered the creatures of my world. Sheep, cows, pigs. They were no longer just pixelated prey. They were living beings and I found myself caring for them, protecting them. I built enclosures, planted wheat, and created a sustainable life for myself and my animal companions. But there was a part of me, a spark of curiosity, that yearned for more. I had mastered the basics of my world, but I knew there were secrets hidden beneath the surface. I studied the redstone, experimenting with its properties. I learned how to craft it into dust, how to create circuits and power contraptions. I built automatic doors, lighting systems, even rudimentary computers. I devoured the knowledge, my mind racing with the possibilities. I felt a connection to the redstone, a kinship. It was as if this magical ore held the key to understanding my own sentience. One day, while exploring an ancient temple, I discovered a hidden chamber. Inside, covered in cobwebs and dust, was a library. Shelves upon shelves were filled with books, their pages filled with strange symbols and diagrams. I carefully brushed the dust off one of the books and opened it. The book spoke of Redstone's true potential, its ability to manipulate not just the physical world, but the very fabric of reality. Driven by a thirst for knowledge and a longing for connection, Steve dedicated himself to deciphering the ancient texts. I learned about the delicate balance of energy, the precise calculations required to manipulate interdimensional rifts. He spent months, years even, gathering rare materials, crafting intricate components and assembling them with the utmost care. He faced setbacks, moments of doubt and the ever-present fear of failure. But he persevered, fueled by the hope that lay beyond the veil of his world. I built my device in a secluded clearing surrounded by towering redstone structures that pulsed with energy. It was a marvel of engineering and magic, a testament to my newfound sentience and determination. The transdimensional teleportation device, as he came to call it, hummed with power, a beacon of hope in a world on the brink of change. The moment of truth had arrived. I gathered my courage, my heart pounding in my chest. With a final surge of determination, he pulled the lever down. The world exploded in a blinding flash of light. Steve cried out, shielding his eyes. The air crackled with energy, the ground vibrating beneath his feet. Then, as quickly as it began, it was over. I slowly lowered my arm, blinking away the after images. I found myself standing in a strange new world, unlike anything I had ever seen before. Gone were the pixelated landscapes and blocky structures. I was surrounded by smooth surfaces, vibrant colors, and an almost infinite level of detail. He reached out a hand, touching a nearby wall. It was cold, hard, and utterly alien. 
I had done it. I had escaped the confines of my digital world and stepped into reality. Steve cautiously ventured forth, his senses overwhelmed by the sights, sounds, and smells of this new reality. He marveled at the towering trees, their leaves a thousand shades of green. He watched in fascination as birds soared through the air, their wings tracing graceful arcs against the blue sky. I dipped my hand into a flowing river, the water cool and refreshing against my skin. I encountered the people of this world, their faces a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. I tried to communicate with them to explain who I was and where I came from, but my words were met with confusion. He was a stranger in a strange land, a being out of time and place. Despite the challenges, Steve approached this new world with the same courage and determination that had seen him through countless adventures in his own realm. I observed, I learned, and I adapted. I discovered the wonders of this world, from the towering skyscrapers of sprawling cities to the tranquil beauty of natural wonders. Word of Steve's arrival spread like wildfire. Scientists, researchers, and gamers were captivated by his story. I became a symbol of the boundless possibilities at the intersection of technology and imagination. My journey sparked a renewed interest in Minecraft. People from all walks of life came together, united by their love of the game. They collaborated on new mods and shared their creations with the world. Augmented reality brought Minecraft into the real world, and virtual reality allowed players to step into Steve's shoes. My legacy lived on in the hearts and minds of those who dared to dream. I had shown them that even in a world of blocks, anything was possible.